Hi everybody, it's Desmond Sim here, founder and creator of Entrepreneurship Coach Online.com and author of Seven Emotions That Prevent Your Success. And welcome, this is a short video that I actually literally uh, not plan to do this video for a promotions program, but eventually it leads to somehow that as a surprise for you. But today, this, this video, uh, I would like to share something about the facts about how my high-end coaching program thrive and transform that leads to an academy by itself and how does this relate to being a sustainable a peak performance or sustainably outstanding performance for yourself as an entrepreneur in your career life well although that this is something that out of the blue out of the world that I'm talking about but just bear with me and just hold on and this is something might be something interesting that the entire high-end coaching program that I actually explained in this video it's a very summarized and very 20,000 feet overview from the mountain high so with that let's just hop on to, to my right hand side that um, why I categorize as thrive and transform here okay let me review to you one by one and give you some refresh memory and why would these things come to the picture? How does that lead to sustainably outstanding performance? And how does these things come along? Okay, so first thing of all, let's review about thrive. You know, as you know, people are barely surviving in, 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 your, in, in career, business. People just meeting their needs and they are still struggling no matter what they're been going through and the government doesn't, does not even help a lot and everybody knows it and I, I fully understand we all have challenges as, as, as in time now or probably in the near future and this is the time where we should actually decide where is our future going towards where it's our destiny the way how we bring our life and career to the next level and that's where I've identified five pillars for thrive in actually bringing yourself to a sustainably outstanding performance in your life so first thing of all learning okay you, you gotta learn no matter what you see gone are the days that uh, gurus and experts and rest on laurels on the those that sell off those that are really actually selling uh, millions and millions of dollars and that could be a day where nobody would actually buy your stuff nobody is so tired and bored about your work anymore and because you don't evolve you don't revolutionize your product your services you don't you don't think innovatively in the way how you can make it creative in terms of your product and service the learning is the number one things that you got to do even as an, as an expert the first thing we got to do is to learn before we teach then otherwise we, ne we are not able to serve everybody as well as our audiences and our prospects so it's actually common sense of all the rest the next one will be it's fitnessing now people will be thinking that why thrive got to be related to fitnessing and there's actually huge studies and researches that tells that people that actually maintain fitness maintain health in terms of mind body emotions physically or spiritually actually excel much better and proceed and procure and much more advanced in their career life relationship and health this it's a reality and if you are actually uh, deep down having sickness you're not well you know, there's there's no way, and you you don't have a, you don't have any motivation and passion to pursue further. You, you will be keeping most of the time, you're spending most of the time to take care of health, and you you seek for medicine, seek for treatment, seek for all these things. But people don't understand that your fitness is the key to your path of success in your life. If you if you actually avoid that, if you ignore that, or simply become ignorant of yourself. You pay for the price. So get fitnessing well is one of the key to thrive. The third one, I'll talk about modeling. This is the most, or I say fastest way, a path 
to success. You know, people will model for people that have success and come across in their life before. This is actually there's no there's no secret of it. But how do you model? How do you model successful people in structural, intelligently and systematically format? You know, that's where I teach about thrive in our high-end coaching program and modeling it's very uh, very critical element we actually teach people in a very uh, specific structure and process in determining what are the ways that lead to somebody's success and how for example you can model Tony Robbins in his businesses in his landscape in his structure in his product and services then you can actually get results maybe not like him earning about 190 million dollar a year or maybe more but it's simply by following these processes of modeling you get results and who knows you can get more results and become successful like Tony Robbins, Jack Canfield, Brendan Burchard and anybody else in guru industries the fourth one will be executing see nothing will work if you stop or you don't do anything but I mean, just to say just to be fair of it even if you do this and do this and do this and you don't execute just stay put there and put up some signs and you think this is ah, let's let's wait and see let's let's figure out a better way let's let's modify things let's come up better structure let's see if we can do it beautifully stop that if you if you keep on doing this you just procrastinate yourself or, or you might lead that to that level you are procrastinating yourself in the long run the reason why people get results and be successful they execute fast you know my when I was in the corporate America and I work when I used to work in Microsoft Bill Gates used to say and tell, tell us in, in a town hall in a, in, 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 a, in a orientation program it is because I take action that's what takes Microsoft today has become the pioneer and the monopoly I wouldn't say monopoly I've become the industry leader in software in those days there's no software industry and Microsoft pioneered that you know, this is actually very key that people don't don't, don't actually understand that executing is just merely just talk about it don't talk about it you have to do start do things and you get results in, in Thrive and Transform a blueprint which is uh, in this actually context of high coaching program I taught that to all my students and I'll teach them how to execute effortlessly and flawlessly this is what you may want to be interested to look into it the final one will be reflecting it how do you spend time for yourself and reflecting what has been going on what do you do best how do you what do you think that there are better ways to make it this program this product this services to the next level and how do you actually benchmark from before and after this is like when we go to a beauty salon slimming center there's always built before and after that's where the way how they measure results you go in there with the 35 pounds and you come out with 20 pounds uh, decrease or you can't be extra pounds definitely right so 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 reflecting it's where a moment where you could spend time and think about what can be done better in your life in your business in your career in your relationship in your health as well you could meditate you could do some other things that you want to do you can just ask this question have a moment by yourself reflecting now this all covers thrive now it won't be complete that you just stay thrive but the ultimate purpose of all you are doing things that transform people's life you're making a difference in people's life and that's where that now actually identify the there are five elements that we could think that could take your life take your entrepreneurship to the next level and what transform conspire and aspire this is will be drive so what is actually your driving factor your driving factor that actually push you to the limit that that you really want to transform people what is actually the push and pull factor what is actually the motivation that that really drive you to transform 
other people's life, transform your life, transform your business, transform your career. This is the first thing of all. Drive. Secondly, so what is your emotions level? You know, as you know, mind, body, emotions are all in the line. And anything happens into your emotions that is not aligned and in my seven emotions that prevent a success book that did actually outline and did actually say that there are top seven negative emotions that we possess since the day we as a child and these are actually de deadly emotions I would say that and these are something that you may want to think about it whether you could really overcome and turn it into a positive and powerful emotions that could drive and transform people's life and your businesses as well. So these will be the second driving factor or second elements of transform. Now third one will be, so what's your perspective on that? Look at the perspective level in transforming. You know, transforming people and have a transformation life or live a transformation life will require a different perspective on how you look at it. It's not just that, oh, I'll transform people, but what makes the difference? How can you see somebody is making a turning point here? And a perspective level that you actually can actually make that adjustment by simply even adjusting a chair, adjusting a position on how you look at things differently. You know, there are always, uh, there's always a two coins, the other sides of the stories. And there's always a better way, a better chance to take things not too good matter to the next level. So that's your perspective. How do you change that perspective? How do you change that paradigms of your view on your, on, on your, on your, on your, on the way how you perceive, how you perceive your judgments? Okay? Are you fulfilled in the other day? So if you're not fulfilled, there must be somewhere that you're stuck. Whether it could be your emotions, whether you, don't, you do not have enough motivation drive there. And these are actually pretty much related. So a transformation process will occur when you have achieved total fulfillment. And total fulfillment is not something that you can actually measure, but you know there's an indication that once you reach that level that you're totally fulfilled, that you're satisfied, that you think this is the this is what I did best. I know this is this is my, my this is my entire happiest life, my happiest moment. I had it. This is this is what I want. So fulfillment is the key. Last but not least, are you committed? No, I, I understand that I heard the videos that recently that uh, John Esaraf did mention, and when he when he came out before he was very successful, and although he's successful now, I I count John Esaraf as one of my mentors as well. That I learned a lot things from him, and his mentor did one thing and asked him one question, and he asked John during those days that John are you really committed to take your life to the next level and to become successful or you just simply interested in becoming successful in your life? Now notice in committing, becoming successful or interested to become successful, there are two different key things. Why we say that? Now he, he explained in such a way that when you're interested, you, have, you can have 1,001 excuses to say that I won't want to actually commit. But when you committed that your path of success, you decide this is what I want to do in life, that's where the turning point starts. That's where you make a pledge, right, this is the time, this moment, I'll go ahead with this. And that is committed. That is committing yourself to transform your business, your career and life, or to your client, to your prospects, to the next level. Now, with this, it wraps up the entire drive and transform as a blueprint by itself. But what it leads to the next level, it leads to a path that I always say it becomes an, uh, my ultimate academy for my students. I call that transcendence. Okay? So transcendence 
it's somewhere being actually illustrated that to the next level, beyond to the next level, beyond to the next path. That's where you actually continuous stay thrive and live a transformation life. I mean, how how do you get there? You know, I don't know whether I could actually fulfill this. I don't know whether I can do these things. There's always process. That's where I offer to come as my high end coaching program. But until that, hold your horses. Let me explain that transcendence is not something that I can even do overnight. And it requires me to continually, continuously learning all the time and get myself in tip top fitness all the time, model the people who have done well, successful in all entire life, executing all the time, get my things, get my job done. Otherwise, things are not moving and reflecting what did I do wrong? What did I do not the best? And as well, I need to find what the key motivation factor that pushed me further, that drive for transforming people's lives. And identify is there any still seven emotions, that negative emotions still hovering around my, my brain and my mind and is being actually generating my DNA. Can I flush it out? Can I, can I actually embrace something better, positive uh, emotions in our, in our life? In, in, and can I have a, a better perspective on looking things that I could change the way in, in a better way in, in things that can make a difference in people's lives that actually that, that, that people matter what most that you're engaging in the end of the day so and fulfill how do you fulfill this type of process how do you fulfill your life as an entrepreneur as a parent as actually a, a teacher a business owner a corporate leader and and as an expert, even a doctor, a dentist, a florist, a carpenter, even a plumber, how fulfilling your life. And as well, I am committed. There's always time you don't, you don't feel you're committed. But are you commit just one thing at one time? That you have to do always self-constant check. And I offer that in that program. And these are the things that you have to do consistently that leads you to transcendence. But having that, having said that, well, that's not all, and it's not complete in the end of the day. And we, by, by, by approaching transcendence, by reaching transcendence, that's where you're reaching a path of sustainably outstanding performance. And how do you, how do you reach the sustainably outstanding performance or sustainably peak performance, where people can always reach the, reach the best, reach the highest level, in the way what they do in life and they can always consistently um, have the most energy, most vitality. How, how, do, how do these people could do that? How people like John Asaraf and Brendan Butcher and, and all these experts, that all the guru industry can always consistently deliver results and performance and, and impact to our lives. And that's where I bring you to this, this chart. And this is actually the golden nugget that I'm going to share today besides to summarize what I've had in my high-end coaching program. And this is what I call that the transcendence path. The transcendence path will consist of four pillars. Now these four pillars will basically consist of all these elements as well. But bear in mind, people don't know what are the elements that, or the main pillars that governs all these ingredients itself. So yes, I know all these ingredients itself will cover into these pillars, and I call it four master pillars or four masteries that you need to master as the path of transcendence before even reaching sustainably peak or superior or even outstanding performance in your life. So how, what what are they? Where are they? So I reveal this one by one now. Your personal mastery. So what do you need to learn? You learn about uh, health, your vitality. You take care about yourself, your health, your mentality. How you actually do meditations. How do you do all those kind of things and take care of all those single things that nitty gritty stuff that we are not aware. These things can be so important in our life, and these pillars governs that. When you actually enroll in our course, this is the thing that I talk about it. And if you don't do this well enough. It could be either that you are not committed, you, know, you don't want to take your life to the next level. Then the second pillar will be, I call it mindset mastery. Wow. These two pillars is the foundation, 
is the fundamental of all the programs that are built in the end of the day. I spent lots of time here compared to others. The reason why it's after many years of facts, studies, researches, and uh, interviews, and uh, fact findings, or even, even, even surveys, I've discovered that it's not because of people don't have enough tools and resources, technologically, software, or whatever things, that, or even network to help you. But I discovered that one main thing that failed entrepreneurs or, or entrepreneurs didn't do well or they actually just gave up is because of these two pillars and mindset mastery it's my passion it is where I teach my students about how your brain rewired in a nutshell how you can actually release all the seven negative emotions effortlessly and how you can embrace these positive emotions and what are the changes that you need to make in your path and career in terms of your personal inner, inner development and how these things actually lead to failure and a, a downside in your life, health, business and in, in fact as an entrepreneur and how why your mind being rewired in such a way that always keep failing you and why people that uh, win a lottery about a million dollars and two years down the road you become a beggar again so you won't, won't, how does it happen? It's because the way how we addicted, the way how we preach the habits subconsciously over and over again, we are actually capable in damaging the way what we're doing. We always damage ourselves in the way how we live our life. We eat bad foods, we, know we don't sleep enough, we, we do things strangely, you know, we drink wine, alcohol, vodka, we take marijuana, <laughs> drugs, it all happens. So, so come on man, <laughs> get a life, if you're doing all these things, how can you be getting mastery in, 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 in no time? So that's where I offer to teach this uh, part of mastery. So these two mastery is something I want to review in, in a short while later. The third one will be, then I will talk about promotional mastery. That's where I focus about marketing, uh, sales, and the way how what are the tools and technological that we can actually embrace today. Not like two to three years ago that you can actually do some clickbank promotion here and then know that that's not the way we should do things anymore. As an author, as a speaker, as a consultant, and coaches an information marketer or even a local business owner we should not do this type of work anymore there are better ways to do things you know how can you you know in, in, in promotion mastery we, we offer to teach something that the cutting edge of social media platform and how we can generate traffic effortlessly how we can take advantage of the the third biggest uh, social media engagement like Pinterest like, like LinkedIn and how we combine this traffic and generate maximize the most of it and some of the tools are free I'm going to teach you how to do that in promotional mastery and how you can leverage your mobile apps how you can build a mobile website on your own and you get more traffic than anything before you don't have to rely on Google AdWords and Google AdSense anymore there are things that is always ongoing cutting edge and I'm, all, I'm going to update this content all the time and when I have new, new things, I'll, go, I'll get it up there and people will, will get access immediately. And this are third pillar mastery. And the last one, I call it entrepreneurship mastery. And this is the path that you get to wealth. You get to abundance. You get a total abundance of wealth in your life. And we'll teach you about how you become an entrepreneur. How you can position yourself as an expert or as an authority in your, your career, in your, your, your field of expert, in your field of subjects, in your topics that you really care and passion to share in your audiences. And how did uh, you can actually build your internal wealth? What are the mindset of being an internal wealth? And what are the steps that you can actually cater for you to build multiple sources of income, uh, product and services suite over a period of time that you don't have to work again and again anymore and these things will run autopilot autopilot once and for all now I'll teach you once you do that work on you one time 
and that will easily will spread all these incomes for the next 10 years and I guarantee that product and suites and services you just have to update minor minor time or even some of the features that even spin over for the next decade as well and in a way your product and suites are always evergreen when you have an evergreen product and it's always continuously selling all you have to do is just sit tight and receive the cash wouldn't you want it so in entrepreneurship mastery we talk about abundance we talk about how you can make money and meaning in a in a very collaborative way and how to do it so these are the four masteries so it comes to a point that we have these two axes how does that actually tells you about sustainably outstanding performance how does it tell you about sustainably peak performance now I'll categorize into these two okay so from the top I call it the pillar number one master pillar number one and here will pillar master number two okay in order to achieve that there's always an axis for us to actually measure as a coach as a, a as a as a content researchers for this type of program I classify that there's always two things that we are focusing on become a truly truly um, thrive and transform in your life in terms of business and career and that's where it will lead to your transcendence path I call it your purpose and your results can be actually proportionate no matter where and no matter how and what are the what are the purpose that you plan to do the purpose you know I teach people people about with that on the bottom of, of this basically pillar we call it a master pillar 2 so how does this master pillar 1 and 2 they in correlate in terms of purpose and results so I classify in terms of purpose I teach that in always in thrive and transform when you don't have a right purpose you don't do well write down your purpose in terms of life and entrepreneurship you, you get somewhere but you don't get the right purpose of it and you get to somewhere that and somehow you think oh maybe I make a wrong turn I should make a U-turn now or I'll find some other some other places or some I'll find some other ways to do it but that's not the right way you're wasting your time and the effort and your energy and you discover that things are not doing too well so how does it how does it sound to you when you think that you spend lots of time and years and experience and one year down the road you say maybe this is not my cup of tea a little bit sad of it if you think this way so if you actually decide and write down your purpose and what are the things that excite your life your purpose will move you in your career and entrepreneurship so with that this master pillar of working yourself your personal mastery and mindset mastery will work on this level so with, with this, these elements your purpose are determined by how well you actually define or work on your personal mastery and mindset mastery and results and results determine on how actually you do well your promotional mastery as well as an entrepreneurship mastery in terms of your path of becoming abundance in your life and having the massive wealth for yourself and these are the pillar master number two so make sense don't you think it makes sense and with only this way then you can only achieve that sustainably peak and superior or outstanding performance at all times and if this path cross in such a way that I mean one fine day people cross about in this point of view How does this reach? So when you do well in purpose, where you actually achieve fantastically result on your personal mastery or mindset mastery, you reach the top level. When you reach top level, this is considered peak. So if you do well in promotional mastery, you do well in marketing, you've done a lot of sales, you got generated a lot of leads, you converted all your customers, you serve them right, you serve them well, you continue to add value, you do very well in promotion mastery you also build yourself as a good entrepreneurship you position yourself very well you offer as an authority as an expert in your field and you do you build your business in such a way that it can be replicated 
it can really actually define as a society, it can define as a movement, it can define as part of your life mission. And you reach that level, you are at peak level here too. So when once you reach this level, and when this curve meet at that point, I call this transcendent path. That path will take you to sustainably outstanding performance. This is where it's been embedded in Drive and Transform Blueprint as well as the Path for Transcendence Academy. And this is where I want to share with you how these things in this session today, in this video, about how we can actually meet that cross, meet that actually axis of the point. And this is the point that you want to actually reach as transcendent path. And only that, you can always consistently stay yourself at sustainably peak performance. And of course, there are other people that always teach us these things in other industries as well. And when my mentor, Brendan Bachard, is actually releasing his new book, The Charge. And uh, that coincidentally that ties to his well-renowned and well-famous High Performance Academy course. And he could be teaching a very in-depth Co uh, course correlate to mine, and which actually I share some of this contents and information that I learned and learned from him as well. In this case, this is where that you should be actually considering taking your life, taking your entrepreneurship and your career, maybe your relationship, your health to that level, to that transcendence path. Now, this could be a video that it's more toward facts and sharing, but I would recommend if you want to go deeper. You know, my mentor, Brendan Bouchard, is actually uh, releasing his program and uh, I encourage you to check it out over the button below and as well, I'll give you the link itself and find out whether is this something you want to do in detail. Or else, you can always contact us back again then once we're releasing our program in a more comprehensive way in the Transcendent Academy. You know, I'll share the same thing, I'll teach the same thing as well. No matter whether you actually join my program or join Brandon's program or anybody's program we all here to serve and sustainably outstanding performance is not as hard as it is and you don't have to actually go through a bunch of programs, bunch of courses, bunch of audios out there and bought so many of it and you, you find out that it's not something you want or it's worthless and it could literally, literally bankrupt your, your account or you run out of debt as it is you don't have to I offer this to teach and I offer this to teach in a very special price at the end of the day as well. But for now, check out my mentor Brandon Bouchard's program about High Performance Academy and his new book, The Charge. And find out how his even his simple book that could lead to your sustainably outstanding performance. And you could buy his link and he's giving out 1,000 books, 1,000 copies for free now. You just have to pay for the shipping. I don't know about others, just contact them if you want to find out from this program in the end of the day. And for this video, I, I'll share until today. Until the next video, I'll share more in detail about our program, our high-end coaching program, and how can it benefit your life, how it can it benefit in your career, your health, your relationship. I'll, I'll, I'll do as much as I can and bundle it and offer this as an, hopefully an ultimate solution for many years to come. Until then, stay thrive and live a transformation life. Bye for now.